Heads up for you tonight about an email scam that has some people in the area on edge. It's scary because the email claims to be from the IRS, and it tells taxpayers to fill out their personal information to get access to their tax refund. As Fox 11's Lindsay Vermis explains, is a scam the agency is taking seriously. Jerry Davervelt uses email all the time, but never expected to see the Internal Revenue Service in her inbox. And I opened it and I read it. Uh oh, oh, something's not right here. The email told her she was eligible for a tax refund of three hundred ninety-seven dollars and fifty cents. It then asked her to fill out an attached form to access the refund. It requested her social security number, credit card information, and her debit PIN number. Daverveld said it looked official and even had the IRS logo. In fact, I read it over a couple of times, but I took one look at that second page and I thought, there is no way I'm going to give them all this information. The IRS says it doesn't contact taxpayers by email. The agency will call or use the mail, and it won't ask for personal information like this because the IRS already has it. An agency spokesperson says the IRS has seen a spike in scam activity, which is common before, around, and after the filing deadline. The scams come in many different flavors, but the taste is always the same. It's bad. So it may be a email asking for information so a person can get a refund. It may be an email telling them that they're facing an audit. The agency says any email claiming to be from the IRS is a fraud and could infect your computer if you open it. The IRS says it is working to shut down the scammers, but as soon as one is caught, another pops up. They would wipe out your checking account, your banking account, your savings account, your everything. Deverville doesn't want to see anyone fall victim, so she's warning everyone she knows and hoping this scam gets deleted. Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. Now, if you receive an email claiming to be from the IRS, the agency would like to see it. To do so, check out our news link section on our website.